Navy Vet 76 here in his cluttered, dirty garage working on my Carcano M91 from Royal Tiger Imports. Here it is cleaned up. You can see there's not a lot of bluing left. The stock was beat up, but I like that. Gives it character. Got the really nice uh, stamp there. That's really cool. Um, they're rusty. I, I like to leave. I don't want to completely take the patina off. And I got a little oil on the stock. That's okay. I did uh, use crud cutter on the stock. I did not sand it. I just cleaned off the dirt and then put a light coat of tongue oil on it. Um, see if we can get a look down the bore here. It has rifling. It um, has rifling all the way down. It's kind of hard to see. But there's no pitting in this one. Like the M95 has a pit in it. I may have to counterbore the M95. Um, this has more rifling in it than the... Uh, the uh, M95 did, the straight pull rifle I got. Um, see if we can uh, get this thing to stay. Here's the other side. Sorry about the garage, but that's just the way it is. And you see it's got the trench art on it. There's some stuff on here you can't really make out on the camera, but uh, it's a depiction of uh, a graveyard. And I don't know if you can make it out. There's a name on there. But again, it's part of its history. It's uh, Overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. You know, they don't have a whole lot of rifles left in inventory. I would say that they're probably scraping the bottom of the barrel, and if you get any of their M95s, they're in pretty rough shape, and I don't know if they're worth the money. I, I spent, I think I spent too much money on the M95. But here you go, folks. Some interesting marks, like, down there is an AT just under right on the stock line. I don't know what AT stands for. They believe that's 1918. This one might actually shoot. I can't wait to take this one out and give it a shot. All right, there you go.